Welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. We travel through history's corridors, illuminating Afrocentric narratives. Support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Your subscription is a great start, but do hit the bell for notifications so you know when we have new episodes. Share our videos and visit our website sankofastorybooks.com for stories, biographies, Afrocentric nursery rhymes and other resources for children. Together can change the negative narratives about us. In the 19th century, the British Empire extended its reach to West Africa, particularly the Gold Coast, now known as Ghana. The Asante Kingdom, rich in culture and history, was an integral part of this region. The infamous punitive expedition of 1896 saw the British troops looting the royal palace, taking with them the precious Asante gold, a symbol of power and wealth that was central to the Asante people's identity. This gold was shipped off to Britain and eventually found its way into various museums where it has been on display far from its rightful home. Fast forward to the 21st century, a time when conversations about the return of looted artifacts have gained momentum. African governments, including Ghana, have been actively seeking the return of their stolen treasures. This global trend has seen countries like Egypt and Greece also advocating for the return of their looted artifacts. The British museums argued that the objects were legally acquired and preserved for global access. However, the plea of the Ghanaian people could not be ignored. In an unprecedented move, two British museums decided to return the looted gold and silver artifacts to Ghana, but only under a long-term loan arrangement. The 17 items, including the Asante Royal Regalia, were returned to their rightful owners. For the Asante people, this was more than just the return of their artifacts. It was the return of a piece of their history, a symbol of their pride, and a step towards righting the wrongs of the past. The journey of the Asante gold is a stark reminder of the atrocities committed during the colonial era and for which reparations must be made. It underscores the importance of returning looted artifacts to their rightful owners and acknowledges these objects' cultural significance for their people. The return of the Asante gold is not quite the complete victory that the Asante people deserve, but it is a crucial step towards rectifying historical injustices. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of a people who continue to fight for the return of their cultural heritage, and it serves as a beacon of hope for other African nations seeking the return of their looted treasures.